Welcome, so on this video, I am going to show you how I built this Excel program for this Eva analysis. I'm going to cover how to get the percent finer, the uniformity coefficient, the coefficient of curvature, the percentage of gravel, sand, silts, and clays, and also the percentage of coarse and fine, and the values for D60, D30, and D10, and lastly, plotting the grain size curve. Now, before we can get the values for the percent finer, we first have to get the values for the cumulative mass retained. So, in order to get this, you just have to add the current value with the previous one, or cumulative sum of the previous values. So, since here at sieve number 4, that's the first value and there's no previous value, you just have to do 5 plus 0. So that's 5. And for sieve number 8, that's 45 plus 5. So that gives us 50. Now for sieve number 10, that's 65 plus 50. Or 65 plus 45 plus 5. So that gives us 115. And you just have to do that until you get the total mass of soil retained, which is 795. Now for the percent finer, we have this formula. So, percent finer is equal to total mass minus cumulative mass retained on a certain sieve over total mass times 100. So, the total mass here is the total mass retained of it on each sieve. So, in this case, the total mass is 795. So, an example is the percent finer at sieve number 4. So, I have to do 795 minus 5, which is the cumulative mass retained at sieve number 4, over 795 times 100%. So, that gives us 99.37. So, here in the table, we also got 99.37. Just have to do that until you get 0 because person finder at band is 0. Now, let's move on to getting the percentage of gravel, sand, in silts and clays. So, for the gravel, we have this formula, which is 100% minus percent passing or percent finer at sieve number 4. So, in here, the value for the, C for the percent finer at sieve number 4 is 99.37. So, you just have to do 100% minus 99.37. So that gives us 0.63. Now for the sand, that's uh, percent passing or percent finer at sieve number 4 minus percent passing or percent finer at sieve number 200. So and here, again, the value for the percent finer at sieve number 4 is 99.37. So you subtract that with 1.76 which is the value for the percent finer at sieve number 200. So here, subtracting that, we get 97.61. Now for the silts and clays, that's basically the percent passing or percent finer at sieve number 200. So you just have to copy this value right here, the percent finer at sieve number 200. Now for the to make sure that the these values are correct, we have to add these three, and the sum should be equal to 100%. So in here, I already added it, and I got exactly 100%. So meaning, these values are correct. Now let's move on to getting the values for D60, D30, and D10. So here, I used the function at trend. First, the first step in getting the D60, D30, and D10, for example, for D60, we have to find where 60% finer is in this table. So since there is no exact 60% finer, but we know that 60% finer is in between 73.96 and 54.84. So we are going to use these two values later on and also the diameters that corresponds to these two percent finers. So that's 
at sieve number 20 and sieve number 40. So here, the formula that I used is first diameter, colon, second diameter, then comma, first percent finer, colon, first, second percent finer, then comma, 60, since we're getting D60, and just have to enter this one. So the answer that I got is 0 0.533. So if you can see here in the green size curve, at 60% finer, the diameter is in between 0 0.84 and 0 0.42. As we have solved earlier, the value here is equal to 0 0.533. Now for the D30, just have to do the same function, which is at trend. So again, this D40, D41, L40, L41 corresponds to the first diameter, second diameter, then first percent finer, then second first percent finer, then comma 30. So entering this one, I got the value of 0 0.223. And here in the graph, at 30% finer, the diameter is in between 0 0.25 and 0 0.180. And in the value here at D30, that's 0 0.223. So basically, this point over here, that's 0 0.223 mm. Now, for the D10, the same function that's at trend, then R, this R56 and R57 corresponds to the first diameter and second diameter. And for the Q56 and Q57, that's the first percent finer and second percent finer. What you'll have to remember in getting these values is if it's D60, you have to find the values that's in between them is 60. For example, at D60, 73.96 and 54.84 so in between these values are percent finer 60 and for d30 that's in between 40.38 and 13.71 you have to use these values and the diameters that corresponds them and for d10 that's in between 13.71 and 5.79 so you're gonna use these two and again the diameters that corresponds the two and as you can see um, if you change the values, any values from this given, the correct answers or values will automatically show up in this table. So, for example, I have to enter that, then there I go. The rest of the values change. These are just given, so you can change it to whatever values that is given and automatically the formulas that I have uh, put in here will show the correct answer. And now for the uniformity coefficient and coefficient of curvature, we have this formula. For the uniformity coefficient, that's just d60 divided by d10. So here, this is what I used. I just divided the values for D60 and D10. So the answer is 3.223. Now for the coefficient of uniformity, the, f the formula is D30 squared divided by D60 times D10. Here in the Excel formula that I used, so that's J54, which corresponds to the value of D30 squared over j53 that corresponds to the value of d60 times the value of d10 j55 so that gave me the answer of 0 0.562 now that we're done with the percent finer the uniformity coefficient the coefficient of curvature the percentage of gravel sand seals and clays and also the percentage of coarse and fine in d60 d30 and d10 now, the last one is plotting the grain size curve. So here, this is what I initially made. So I used a simple line graph in this one. 
So here I'm going to show you how to make a graph using line graph like this in the XY scatter. First thing that we have to do is to highlight these values. Here this one corresponds to the diameter in millimeter and this one corresponds to the percent finer in percent. So basically it's a percent finer versus diameter graph. So again highlight this and then click insert then recommended charts then all charts then line and I use the first line graph. So the next step is to format the axis. So I have to first click on the X values, then right click, then format axis. Now here as you notice, the X values are automatically showed based on the given data. And there you go. And for the Y values, just right click, Format axis, there you go. So let's just set the maximum bounds to 100. So you can change the title here. And you can add data labels. You can also add axis titles. So you can put here uh, percent finer and here diameter, just like this one. You can also change. Uh, graph styles like that to make your graph more presentable and yeah that's it for using line graph so here at 4.76 uh, diameter the percent finer is 99.37 and so on now let's uh, try to make the green size curve using xy scatter so these are the values, just the same values. So let's highlight this, then insert, then click the XY scatter or bubble chart and choose XY scatter with smooth lines and markers. So the first thing that we have to do is to again format the axis. So let's first click on the X values, then right click then format axis now the first thing that we have to change here is we have to set this to logarithmic scale then have to make sure that the values are in reverse order so for the maximum bounds let's set this to 10 and for the minimum 0 0.01 and let's not forget to uh, set its maximum axis value so there you go as you can see it's increasing from right to left so it's in semi logarithmic format so now let's uh, format the y values so right click in format axis and then let's set the maximum bounds to 100 the minimum 0 and for the major lines, 10 and minor, 2. So, yeah, that's just about it. So, you can change uh, the styles again using different uh, designs that are available here in Excel. So, as you can see, the difference. So, again, let's uh, show, let's add data labels. There you go. So, as you can see, the XY scatter is more like a zoomed out uh, view of the graph while the, the line graph is like the zoomed in uh, graph. So here it's not directly shown that this is 4.76 so it's from 0 0.01 to 10. So in between these values is the curve. Let's not forget that we can also add axis titles. Here you can put percent finer and here diameter and you can also put error bars, legend, and trend line. Depends on your preference. So that's all for this tutorial and if you find this video interesting, feel free to pause uh, the video and take notes of the formulas. So that's it. 
Thank you for watching.